What is it that truly ignites the flames of desire in women? The answer may not be what you expect, and it's certainly not a subject that polite society often discusses. In a world that bombards us with well-intentioned but often ineffective advice on attracting the opposite sex, it's time to cut through the noise and discover the three undeniable traits that genuinely turn girls on. Some men have an almost magical allure that draws women to them like moths to a flame. But it's not about chiseled looks or overflowing bank accounts. These men possess something far more potent, traits that transcend conventional norms. In this video, we're about to discover the three undeniable traits that turn women on. So, let's explore the secrets that go beyond the surface and what traits leave women utterly captivated. 1. Status One crucial factor that significantly affects a woman's attraction is a man's status. To put it plainly, you might find that if you lack status, many women will either act arrogantly or simply not notice you. Even if a woman wants to be attracted to you, her subconscious may tell her that you're unimportant and as a result she won't feel drawn to you. This is where you see individuals like rappers and artists who can go from being relatively unknown to being idolized by millions of women. What's intriguing is that the guy in question might start as an average person, or even someone below average in looks, broke, and not in the best physical shape. However, once he attains a certain status, women's perceptions of him change. They'll start calling him the most handsome man, whereas before, they wouldn't even give him a second glance. It's essential to understand this reality without becoming bitter or resentful about how women operate. Women can change their behavior and become sweet and submissive if they desire you, and it's not entirely under their control. Certain types of men simply trigger their attraction. Now, this doesn't mean you need to become a rapper or a famous figure to captivate women. Status can be found in various social spheres. For example, if a woman walks into a boxing gym, she'll naturally pick up on the man who holds the most status in that environment. It's subconscious but she'll notice how other women and men react to him, and that alone makes him intriguing. The great thing is that anyone can acquire some status and move up the social ladder. In the modern world, the internet has transformed the game when it comes to status. If you want to seriously elevate your status, the internet can be a powerful tool. You see, status isn't solely about fame or wealth. It's also about the way people perceive you and the respect and attention you receive. The internet offers numerous opportunities to build your status. You can establish yourself as an authority in a particular niche, whether it's through social media, a blog, or a YouTube channel. By consistently sharing valuable information or content, you can attract followers, which in turn increases your status. People will respect your knowledge and opinions, and this can make you highly attractive to women. Furthermore, Status isn't just about online presence. It extends to your real-life social circles. The way you carry yourself, your confidence, and the way you interact with others all play a role in how people perceive your status. If you're confident, charismatic, and can lead conversations or situations effectively, it's likely that you'll gain status in your social circle. In essence, status is a multifaceted concept. It's not just about external markers like fame or fortune. It's about how you project yourself and the respect and admiration you earn from others. Understanding this and taking steps to enhance your status can indeed make you more appealing to women, regardless of your starting point. 2. Dominance Many women are naturally drawn to partners who exhibit sexual dominance. Studies have revealed that the majority of women's sexual fantasies often revolve around themes of rough dominance. However, it's important to note that these fantasies can be quite explicit, and discussing them on platforms like YouTube can lead to content removal. Nonetheless, it's clear that women tend to desire dominant men, both in the bedroom and in their daily lives. In the modern world, you often see men who openly discuss everything with their partners. They constantly ask for their opinions and preferences, aiming to include them in every decision. While open communication is generally healthy in a relationship, the truth is that women don't want to bear the burden of making all the decisions. What they desire is a strong and assertive partner who can confidently lead the way. This pattern can be observed in daily situations as well. For example, many men struggle with simple decisions like choosing what to eat. The process of deciding what to have for a meal shouldn't be a lengthy ordeal. It should take no longer than a brief moment. 
This inability to make quick decisions can be viewed as a failure in demonstrating decisiveness, which is an essential aspect of dominance. Speaking of dominance, it's important to clarify that true dominance isn't about being aggressive or controlling. In the modern context, the term alpha male has been somewhat diluted by individuals who exhibit fake or exaggerated displays of dominance. However, authentic alpha males do exist, and they possess a distinct magnetism that attracts women and earns respect from their peers. Confidence is a key element of dominance. Confidence not only attracts women, but also earns the respect of peers. A confident person can make decisions, take calculated risks, and handle challenging situations with grace. It's crucial to emphasize that dominance should always be respectful and considerate of a partner's feelings and boundaries. Being dominant doesn't give anyone the right to be disrespectful, abusive, or controlling. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and consent. The appeal of dominance isn't about women wanting to be controlled. It's about being with a partner who can take the lead, make decisions, and provide a sense of security and direction. Authentic dominance is rooted in confidence, emotional stability, and respect for one's partner. Understanding these dynamics can lead to healthier and more satisfying relationships. 3. Having an Abundance Mindset One of the most critical factors that can either attract or repel women is a man's mindset, specifically the difference between a scarcity mindset and an abundance mindset. Many men unknowingly turn women off because they possess what's known as a scarcity mindset. This means they believe that opportunities for love and intimacy are rare and hard to come by. This mindset leads to neediness, and it's essential to understand that nothing about the scarcity mindset is attractive to women. On the flip side, there's the abundance mindset. A man who embraces this way of thinking recognizes that there are plenty of options when it comes to women. He doesn't feel devastated by the loss of a woman he just met. He doesn't chase after her as if she's more special than others. And he certainly doesn't put her on a pedestal, which is something a guy with a scarcity mindset tends to do. When he encounters an attractive woman, he sees her for what she is, a normal person, and treats her accordingly. Having an abundance mindset means you have multiple options when it comes to women. You won't be overly concerned about a particular woman because, you know, there are plenty of beautiful women in your city or town. You have a variety of choices, so you don't fret over losing one. Even if Lisa doesn't work out, you still have Amanda, Sarah, and Jessica, among others. A man with an abundance mindset might come across as a bit confident or even a touch cocky, but the reality is that this mindset can be a significant turn-on for women. They like knowing that the man they are with has the ability to attract other women. This quality makes the man more valuable in her eyes, and she can't help but respect it. Now, having an abundance mindset can be challenging if you don't actually have a lot of women in your life. However, it's crucial to carry yourself with this mindset regardless of your current situation. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. When you treat women as if they are rare and hard to obtain, they tend to become exactly that. But when you project the confidence that you can always find more, more opportunities naturally come your way. This mindset isn't limited to relationships with women. It applies to other aspects of life, including money. When you treat both women and money as if they are scarce resources and act needy, they become challenging to acquire. But when you carry yourself like you have plenty of options and are not desperate, more opportunities tend to come your way. In simple terms, the scarcity mindset is like being in a desert where water is scarce. You cling to any drop you find because you fear you won't find more. This desperation can be sensed by women, and it's a turnoff. On the other hand, the abundance mindset is like being near a river with plenty of water. You can take a drink whenever you want, and you're not desperate because you know the river will always be there. Women find this confidence and non-neediness attractive. Alright guys, we've come to the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to check other videos on our playlist. We've got some amazing contents for you. See you in our next video.